Shit. I am so sorry. I told them not to let me pitch for the sake of everybody's safety. Are you okay? You're not supposed to swear. <laughs> Shoot. Don't tell the nuns. And Paul writes in Corinthians 6 9, or do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who have sex with men, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Here, Paul explains who will be allowed into heaven, not by telling the Corinthians what to do step by step, but rather by, by outlining the kind who will not be allowed into the kingdom of God. Um, does that mean that my neighbor who just married his boyfriend this summer isn't allowed into heaven? It is not up to us to decide who will be granted into the kingdom of heaven, but to love our neighbors, regardless of their sins. The best that we can do is to encourage sinners to find God's path. Yeah, good luck getting a faggot back on God's path. to try harder next time. I'm Kit. Riley. I know. You're in the art club, right? Yeah, I've seen your drawings at last year's school exhibit. They were really good. Thanks. I'm more of a painter myself. Frida Kahlo's my inspiration. Do you have any favorite artists? Georgia O'Keeffe was my favorite in art history. Yeah, she's a badass. Hey, we're having a feminist art night at the Pride Alliance Youth Club this weekend downtown, if you want to come. There will be snacks. I don't think I should. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. And we only talk about the gay agenda on Wednesdays. <laughs> I should be heading home. My mom's gonna worry. No worries, I get it. Just think about it, okay? And if talking about feminist art isn't your speed, I love to just get a coffee or something sometime. Just you and me? If you want. Hey, Mom. Can I talk to you about something? Sure, Pumpkin. What's that? Would you still love me if I was gay? Well, what brought this on? Do you think you're... No, nothing like that. Just Sister Catherine was talking about homosexuality and how gay people aren't allowed into heaven, so I was just wondering. Well, you know I love you no matter what, but... That doesn't necessarily mean that I would support you in every single thing you decide to do. What do you mean? Well, I, if you decided to rob a bank. <laughs> of course I wouldn't support that, but that doesn't change the fact that you're my daughter and I love you. So being gay is the same as robbing a bank? No, of course not, but well, sin is a sin and as Catholics, we cannot condone sinning, but we still have to love the sinner. Does that make sense? So, hypothetically, if I was gay or liked girls or whatever, and I was in love with a girl and, like, maybe, like, wanted to marry her, you're saying you would love me but not support me. Well, let's just say you could save the postage on your wedding invitation.
You're going to sprout roots digging yourself in the dirt like that. Honey, what's the matter? I think God hates me. What will give you that impression? You know you can tell me whatever it is. Scout's honor. You won't be mad. I can never be mad at you. I like girls. Not boys. Okay. That's it? You don't think it's wrong or gross? Of course not. But what about God? I don't think God cares who you love. As long as they treat you right, that's all that matters. Whatever incredible being made this world and the sky, and the ocean, and this tree also made you. And they don't make mistakes. But I'm not a tree. I'm more like a weed. Well, dandelions are beautiful flowers, too. <laughs> Besides, a woman without a man it's like a fish without a bicycle. <laughs> I'll be in the car.